What's up guys, this is Galoza Gamer and I'm coming back at you with another Frostpunk video of the leader of the science expedition up north. The man's name is Nansen. Nansen, from our understanding of the Frostpunk universe and the wiki to an extent and from my discoveries within the Frostland itself, was the head of the scientific expedition team and was very dedicated to the understanding of the Frostland itself and to an extent the climatic and weather conditions that were occurring within the area. His main task was to observe and gain a better understanding of whether or not there are potentials of there actually being a storm and to forecast whether or not the storm was an eternal thing or there was a potential end to the storm. Based on Nansen's discovery from the papers that he left behind along with his assistant, it was discovered by the Scouts of New London and the New London Workshop Engineers that the storm lasts for approximately five to six or seven days or less. After the storm has ended, there is a period of increased temperature rise or a rise in temperature, suggesting to us that the storm itself is almost like a snow hurricane to an extent, passing across the frostland, decreasing temperatures as it comes closer and then after it has passed, the temperature radically increases again. This was discovered by Nansen and it was an attempt by him to try and convey the information back but on discovering that the other cities to an extent were destroyed and most of the science team had either died frozen to death or to some extent drifted away far within the frostland he was unable to reunite with them and so he and his assistant lay waiting in a cave for the end where they succumbed to the elements. This is Frostpunk Explained and we were talking about Nansen and I'll see you in the next one.